What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hopefully you guys had an amazing new year. Hopefully you guys celebrate the holidays well and stayed safe. All that good stuff. But we are here. You guys are in no deal. We're back playing some Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Bob. But this time we're running a crazy off meta team that features Pyroar. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. But if you guys look at this team, it is crazy off meta. We are really not rocking any meta Pokemon besides Dodonzo and uh, Meowskarada. But they're not really like meta Pokemon, I should say. Like Meowskarada probably, but Dodonzo without Tasugiri? A little off meta if you, if you ask me, but the rest of these Pokemon are really cool and I cannot wait to use them on the rank ladder. We can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, this is kind of the reason I picked this team. It's Pyroar over here. Pyroar is such a cool Pokemon, fire and normal typing. That's the unnerve as its ability and it's rocking the choice specs as its item. It's got Hyper Voice and Heat Wave both for stab moves. It's got Terra Blast to change into flying when we Terrasalize and then it has Snarl for its final move. Second Pokemon is going to be Ma Meowskarada. Meowskarada is obviously one of the strongest starters in the game. It has Overgrow and Focus Sash as its item. It's got Knock Off, U-Turn, Flower Trick, and Protect for its four moves. Third Pokemon is going to be a Pokemon I will probably never use again on the rank ladder. It is going to be Masquerade. It has Intimidate, which is an amazing ability, so that really does bring its value up, alongside with the Bright Powder as its item. It's got Air Slash, it has Tailwind for Speed Control, Bug Buzz, and Power Split for its final two moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that Don Dozo team, or not Don Dozo team, that Don Dozo as a Pokemon itself, with Oblivious and a Choice Span ability. This is my first time using it without the Tasugiri, and it seems like it can work pretty well considering it has Oblivious as an ability, and its moveset is really well with the Choice Band. It has Wave Crash, it has Rock Slide, EQ, and Ice Fang. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Skunk Tank, and I used this Pokemon before, and it's not too bad. Its typing is pretty solid with the Poison and Ghost, and its move pool is amazing with Sucker Punch, Crunch, Gunk Shot, and Play Rough. Final Pokemon is another Pokemon just like Masquerine. It is going to be Tropius. I don't see myself ever using this Pokemon again in ranked battles, but you never know. This one's going to be fun. It has Harvest alongside with the Citrus Berry as its item. And it's got Wide Guard, Air Slash, Tailwind for Speed Control, and Giga Drain for its final move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this off meta Pyroar team. First match coming at you guys and going up against some meta Pokemon. We're going up against Annihilate, Golden Go, King Gambit, Miascarada, and then Murkrow and Skelly Dirge. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? My team looks so weird, but it looks so awesome at the same time. I definitely want to bring in Pyroar, but I do not know if I want to lead Pyroar. That'll be my problem. I could go Masquerin or Tropius to try to, you know, get Tailwind going and get Speed Control on our side. So I might go Masquerin right here. I kind of dig Masquerin. I really do like this Pokemon. Or I could even go into Tropius. Your HP is high, and I think I think you can be close to surviving a final Gambit. This could be amazing. I definitely see him lead a Murkrow. I can go into a Tailwind, kind of counteract this Tailwind, and then lead... Um, do I go Skunk Tank? Skunk Tank with the Sucker Punch ain't too bad. Get off some big-time damage. I do like it. I do like it. And then bring Pyro and Miascarada in the back end. That's not bad for us. That is not bad. I could also lead you. I could also lead. But I'm thinking Skunk Tank's going to be your play. I just like the Skunky Tank. I think he's a dog. I think he's a dog. We're going to bring him. We're going to bring him. And then Pyroar and Meowskarada in the back end. Let's get it. Let's get after it. Let's look to grab ourselves some winning match number one. But like I said, I picked this team solely because of Pyroar. I feel like this Pokemon so cool and I feel like it is underloved. I feel like a lot of people do like this Pokemon. But since we haven't seen it since Sun and Moon... It just, everybody kind of forgot about it. But yeah, Pyro is sick, considering its female version and its male version look two totally different. The male version has like the big lion mane, and then this one just kind of has like this slick back, kind of like low hair, which is cool. I think they're both sick. We're going to end up bleeding Golden Go and Annihilate, so I could see a Gambit coming out here. Um, I could go for a Sucker Punch just to neglect some of that damage, which I think I'm going to have to do, right? Do I set up the winds that are full of tails, or do I double down? I'm going to set up the tail one. I'm going to set up the tail one here. And I could go for a sucker punch into that slot, but I'm not going to. Because he's obviously probably either going to change typing, swap, or protect. So I'm just going to go straight after an Annihilate here. I'm going right after this Annihilate, but I'm not dealing with it. Not dealing with it. But yo, Tropius, I love its design. I always love this design ever since Gen 3. It's got its little bananas hanging from its neck. But I just wish it had, like, another evolution. And I wish it was just stronger on in, like, ranked battles. Because it's such a cool Pokemon, design-wise. What is it? A giant dinosaur palm tree? It's like a brontosaurus palm tree i love it i really absolutely love this design especially the bananas hanging from its neck can't go wrong with it sucker punch is gonna fly he does nothing with the golden go i could just dumped on that i could just rip into the golden go 
I could just rip into that golden god. I'll do it next turn. Annihilate gets to flinch. Wait, how did Annihilate flinch? Is it because of stench? I think stench has a chance of flinching, which that that's huge. I really like that turn then. I really like that turn. All right, looks like we're we're uh, either sucker punching or just ripping into that golden go. But I think stench has a chance of a chance of flinching. Yes. The Pokemon may cause the target to flinch on any move. That's amazing. I love it. But let me see your speed sound if Tailwind's in effect. We should be able to outspeed these Pokemon, no problem. Oh yeah, 100% you're outspeeding. Uh, I could drop a player off, which I'm thinking of doing. Or I could air slash you. It has leftovers. So I think we outspeed. I'm just going to go into an air slash. And if this thing's just chilling, not thrasalizing or swapping. Well, okay, of course it swaps now. Of course it swaps now. He's going to go into Murkrow. That's fine. So he wants to match the Tailwind. I think that's totally fine. I wonder what Nihilip's doing. It is protecting. It's a smart play by him. He's going to match the Tailwind next turn. I could Sucker Punch it again if I want to. I'm just going to crunch you, do a little bit of damage on you, and smart plays by him. All day. All day smart play. Well, we know the gold goes in the back end. We have the Pyro to counter up on that. We have the Mascarada. I'm digging it. I am digging it. So Nihilip's still here. I don't think it's a Gambit one, considering it's not choice. So from here, I am just going to go straight into a, an Air Slash into this Pokemon, and I'm just going to double down. I think I double down, I get rid of this thing. I don't think we worry about the Murkrow too, too much. Actually, yeah, no, we're going to go after Murkrow too. We're just going to play off into it. The Thunder, Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave's coming in hot. That's a little scary. Hopefully this can KO before it gets another turn. Let's play rough. Come on, KO it. Ah, yo, Murkrow's soaking with that Evo Light. He's soaking. He's going to bulk up. That's a little scary, but hopefully his Air Slash can get off some damage. But I have an odd feeling we're going to be paralyzed. Odd, odd feeling. Field and gut. All right, we don't. Awesome. Cool. Good work. This thing's bulked up. Kind of scary. Um, do I double down into it? I really want to. Really, really want to. I really want to. My Tropius is paralyzed. Uh, I just gonna throw another air slash its way. I'm just gonna go for another play rough. He might, he might thunder wave me. Actually, you can't thunder wave me. I'm prankster, or I'm dark, and that thing's prankster. So, Terrasalize is finally gonna come out here, probably from the Annihilate, but I think Annihilate's just gonna try to sweep out here, right? Makes the most sense. Just Terrasalize into Steel. Okay, Pyroar. Um, Pyroar's looking good here. Super effective onto that. I like Pyroar here. Pyroar's gonna fire through here. Pick up the KO. No Tailwind sets up from him. That's a little weird that he doesn't want to set up the Tailwind. Annihilate, I think, just goes after Skunk Tank with a Dream Punch. Yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> some big time damage. Takes me out. Goes up to probably close to full, right? Yeah. That one hurts. But do I bring out Pyro at this point? If I had to guess, he's got to bring out Golden Go. Air Slash can come out here. Doing a little bit of damage. I think you have to bring out Golden Go. I feel like you have to bring out the Golden Goes. My Tailwind's gone. I'm going to try setting up next turn. And what is your speed? 173, you should be fast on the field. This should just be an easy choice scarf in the heat wave. We tailwind just for back end support. I'm liking it. Yo, Pyro coming out here, and he's going to throw out Skelly Dirge. Okay, so Skelly's going to come out here. This is too big of a deal for me. I mean, it's kind of scary, to be honest with you, because I don't know if I should choice in the heat wave anymore. I mean, I have Miyasuke about it. I'm fine with that. Uh, Yeah, I'm just going to go into an air slash here, into you, and I'm just going to heat wave across the board. Seems like my best bet. It's just straight up heat wave. Actually, I should Terrasalize. If it doesn't die just to a straight drain punch. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We have to Terrasalize you. So we're going to Terrasalize our Pyroar. He's probably looking to just go into a drain punch because Pyroar is part normal type. So that fighting move would be super effective if we stayed normal typing. So we're going to swap our typing. We're going to roll out the battle that way. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I wonder what Skelly's going for though. Again, I'm not too worried about the Skelly Dirge because considering I can just like, straight, up, straight up hit it with a dark move. And KO it. Same thing with the Golden Go. Oh, we're looking to maybe try to pick up a KO here onto that, uh... Onto that Annihilate, which would be insanely big. But I don't know if you can do enough damage. I have never used Pyro before. But he really gonna fly. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Pyro. Let's go, Pyro. Let's go, Pyro. That's a, that's a, that's a big time KO. Because Golden Go is first to come out here. I think, I would think, uh, Skelly Dirge would go for Torch Song into Tropius, right? Yeah, so he does. Is this KO? Or do we... We eat. Can we get off this Tailwind? Can we get off this lovely little Tailwind? We do have Citrus Berry. And we get Harvest again. My dude. 
My dude's chilling here. I might wide guard next turn. I didn't even set up a tailwind. I should have set up a tailwind. But we harvest another berry. I'm gonna set up a tailwind. I don't think we need it though. I really don't think we need it. I think it would just be a waste of a turn. It seems like it would be the biggest waste. So I'm choice to do a heat wave. I'm obviously just gonna go into another heat wave and I'm just gonna air slash this slot. Because again, I have Miyasarada in the back end. I'm chilling with that Pokemon. It outspeeds both of them. It's super effective onto both of them. I really like where we're sitting and getting Pyro out here in match number one. I love it. I love it. So if he doesn't protect Golden Goat, Golden Goat is probably gone. But he doesn't. Oh, did he dodge it? Who dodged it? Skelly Dirt Dodge. Okay, Skelly Dirt Dodge. So Skelly Dirt Dodge it, dodged it. Golden Goat goes down. It's over with. It's over with. Once he terrestrialized that, uh, that Annihilate into, uh... Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage. Once he terrestrialized that Golden Goat into, uh... Into Steel Typing, I was like, oh, this match is over. This match is over. <laughs> I was like, Pyro's coming out here just sweeping us. But wow, that Torch Song did a lot of damage considering he got the boost. But Heat Wave comes through here and picks up the KO. No problem. Pyro in the back end for three KOs. We grab ourselves a victory in match number one. Let's hop into a second. Look to go back to back. We rocked out with Pyro in match number one, but we have a true test match number two. Look what we're going up against. This is the definition of meta. His team's definition of meta, mine's the definition of non-meta. They got the Mousehold, the Annihilate, Murkrow, Garchomp, Amoongus, and Golden Goat. Each and every one of those Pokemon are top tier in the meta. So hopefully we grab ourselves a win here and showcase this team a little bit more. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I think Miascarada could be a solid lead here. I don't think it's a bad lead. Alongside with like Masquerin, maybe? But my problem would be if he leads a Defiant Annihilate. I want to bring Maskerin, but I feel like a Defiant Annihilate could come in here as a lead. Right? That would make the most sense for the lead. I could go with Choice Band Boy. I like this, dude. I love the Dodonzo. <laughs> I don't mind it. I do not mind it. I, I'm thinking Miascarada's got to be the play. Correct? I can U-turn pivot with this thing. It's rather fast. I kind of just roll out the battle that way. Yeah, I'm going to go U. I'm going to bring Maskerin in the back end. I feel like that's more so of a backhand Pokemon. And then I'm going to lead probably a Skunk Tank, right? Skunk Tank's just a solid lead. It does work up against a few of these guys. So I'm all about it. We're going to go Skunk Tank. We are going to go Masked Rain. And then last but not least, got to bring the boy. You got to bring Pyroar. Choice Specs Pyroar, got to bring it. Got to bring it. Just I'm loving this Pokemon. I love its design. Always have. Always will. I feel like it's like a, a slicker looking Arcanine, even though Arcanine's sick. This one's just kind of like smaller. I just love it. I just love Pyro. Let's see your opponent leads. It's got to be either Mousehold or Annihilate. But I feel like that's just a simple lead when it goes up against these teams. Both of them, yeah. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> it's both of them. So, follow me could obviously come out here. Um, I do want to U-turn pivot. You can't gambit me, which I do not like. But I believe I have the Focus Ash on. Yeah, on Miascarada. I think gambits, he gambits. This is, seems like a beat-up combo. And I feel like I just have to take off this thing's item. Or I can... Huh. Or I can go straight into grass typing. Oh no, I'm, I'm not protein. I think I'm just going after this thing. I think this is our play. I think this is the beat up combo. Then I can also play rough into it. I'm with this. I'm with this. I think he's just going to terrestrialize and beat up, maybe. Because I, if I had the guess, he would beat up and probably just drain punch into my Meowth Skirata. That's why I'm. Uh, Terrasalizing straight into grass typing. Just so we can take off that uh, dark type and then we can get off as much damage as we possibly can. We'll see. We'll see. He is Terrasalizing. What are you going into? What typing are you changing into? That's the real question. That's the real question. That, that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That right there hurts the soul. I'm going to have to U-turn out after this. Okay, that's a little bit better. I thought he was going for the beat up. Okay, that's fine, I guess. It makes Fire Trick do a little bit more damage. But we do have Sash. We do outspeed, which is great. I could U-turn Pivot next turn, which I might do. Just to save this Pokemon for later. And wow. Wow. That's some good time damage. That's some big time damage right there. The Donzo would be beautiful here. Or Don Dozo. You guys are always giving me stuff. <laughs> We're pronouncing his name wrong. I'm pretty sure I pronounced it wrong in the, uh, in the team preview. Pretty sure I said, uh... Do -do -do I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it wrong. Don Dozo. I say Don Dozo, but it's uh, Don. No, oh, Don Dozo is the, the name. But I say Dodonzo. That's what I say. I say Dodonzo. 
Then I bring up Murkrow here, and I just think I have to U-turn out here. And I'll just keep going after this right slot. I mean, hmm, I have Mash in the back, and this could get ugly. This could get ugly. It's getting real ugly with the Intimidate, and if that thing's defiant, which it probably is. That one's gonna fly. It's gonna bring me down to Focus Sash, probably, correct? It's just gonna Drain Punch me, and it does not bring me down to Sash, but. I am out of here. I am U-turn here. I kind of want to waste out the stricken turns. I think this is really tough for us. We don't have terrestrialization anymore. Pyro can come out here. This is too tough because fire moves just take us out all day long. I could power split him. I could power split him. I could. The user employs the psychic power to average its attack and special attack stat with those of the target. So this could actually be good. It's just a stat, so it doesn't take away its boost. That's not bad, though. That's not bad. I feel like we have to do that. But, again, I feel like he just takes us out in one shot. Because in order to get this Pokemon out, we have to Intimidate. We have to Intimidate. But I feel like it's our only shot, right? It's our only shot. Is it Defiant? It's gotta be. It's not. It's not Defiant. Okay, I'm, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of that. And now I'm going to Power Split this. And on top of that, I am going to finish off the Murkrow. He's going to taunt me. I can't power split with taunt. No! <laughs> can't power split with taunt. That's real ugly. That's real ugly. This thing goes for another bulk up. Power split was supplied. That was our lord and savior right there. Power split was our savior. <laughs> Mascara looks sick though. Look at this little bug just floating around. <laughs> I like it. I like this Pokemon. But no, I power split was my lord and savior. We were going to make its attack stat. 58 would have been beautiful. Let's see what he goes into from here. It'd be golden go. I have Pyro to finish that thing off, no problem, but I just feel like we don't have a can't tail win either. It sucks. I just feel like we have nothing to do to finish that Pokemon off with. I'm gonna go into a crunch here. Actually, I'm gonna go into a circuit punch. That thing just outspeed me. And this is KO. Wow, that did not do much damage at all, but it has a chance of flinching. It's gonna drain punch me. And this Pokemon seems like it has it. It can just sweep me. Air Slash flying. Doing a little bit of damage. Not too bad. Defense is boosted. Can we get a flinch onto this Golden Go? That would be huge if we can get a flinch onto the Golden Go. With Stench. We did, I think we did get a flinch. I don't even remember it going. I think I might double down into him. He's obviously going to... Mm. I might even protect the golden go. You know what? I'm just going to air slash this slot. And I'm going to go for a sucker punch. Stays in. Wow. I should double down. Oh, yes. Let's go. That one did a bit more damage. We got a crit. Okay. I thought maybe we just got a high roll. So we take that out. But again, our problem here is going to be Annihilate. This thing is just such a problem. He's going to drain punch. Go back up to full HP. Um, I got to wait till Tailwind ends. I got to wait till Tailwind ends to do anything. So Pyro. We do still have the roars full of pies. Um, Air Slash is flying through here. We need Tailwind to end if we want to try to win this match. This thing does have leftover, so I would love to knock it off with uh, Yaskarada. My Taunt's gone, and now I can Power Split him. And their Tailwind's gone. That's huge. Okay. But since we outspeed, uh, I think Knockoff's got to be our play. We gotta take off that left there. We have to get rid of that left there. We're gonna have Pyro in the back end because Pyro will outspeed later in the match and we can hyper voice it with stab. So that could be really good. But from here, I'm just gonna power split. Look at its text that really has to change. The knockoff's gonna fly here. We're gonna say, Ayo, give me them left overs. Take them off his hands. And power split's gonna fly. So we change his attack stat to 58, which is huge. Not gonna be hitting as hard. And Rage Fist is going to fly. And I think Rage Fist obviously going to KO me. I'm at like 37 HP. 34 HP. And that KOs me. So we outspeed which is good. So we can get the flinch chance every time with uh, Air Slash. But the problem here with Pyro. Oh no, Pyro is a uh, is special attacking. So the bulk up defense boosts do nothing. That's huge. That is huge. This could be solid plays for us. Unnerve is going to come out here. No berries allowed. And Air Slash is going to fly like I said. And then I'm just going to hyper Yes. Every voice is replied. 
It's stab. How much was it? Was it base 90? So it goes up to 1.5 times multiplier plus the choice specs for another 1.5. So it's basically, what is it? 180? I think we should be fine. I think we kind of have this. He's going to protect. Protect does nothing because you don't have leftovers. I'm cool with this. I think he just wants to check out what we're going for. And the problem is, if we do not KO with these two turns right here, we're going to lose the match. Because he's just going to dump all my Pyro with a Drain Punch, get pretty much all the HT back, and then... So I have to KO here. Like, it's an absolute must. Which I think we can. I think we can. With the Air Slash and Hyper Voice. Let's give it a go here. Hyper Voice flies here. Plenty of damage. Air Slash should be able to come in here and clean it up. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Dominating meta teams with this off-meta Pyro team. I absolutely love it. Final match coming at you guys, and I don't even care if I win or lose this third one. We already proved ourselves with this team dominating one of the best teams in the game right now. But we're going up against a Bax Caliber and Dragon Pole team with Mias Mouse Mousehold, Volcarona, and Amoongus. I'm going to have to bring this uh, Don Dozo here because I want to try it out without the Tasugiri. It seems like a solid Pokemon without it. So I don't know if I'm going to lead it. I kind of want to lead a Pokemon to set up Tailwind, and I'm kind of leaning towards Masquerin. Just because he has a few physical attackers on the field. I'm going to go Masquerade here. I am going to go maybe Miascarada just to U-turn pivot. I like that a lot. Yeah, we can U-turn pivot if need be. And then we're going to go into Dantozo. And last but not least, you got to bring the Lion. You got to bring the Pyro. You got to bring it. I am just, dude, this Pokemon's too good. Three KOs in match number one, clutching it up there. And in match number two, coming in that back end, landing a heavy damage hyper voice to pick up the win. I love it. I love it. But I thought that, that uh, Annihilate Bitch was going to run through us. Also, I made some good plays. I was able to power split it. I was able to get rid of the Pokemon on the right side. And we were able to roll off from. Let's see. It goes into these two. We're going to have a lovely Intimidate from Masquerade here. <laughs> it's so it's awesome getting Intimidates from this Pokemon. I'm going to see a follow me. Maybe like a Sword Stance set up from that Pokemon. I'm going to set up the Tailwind. And I'm just going to U-turn out of here. Let's see a Pop Bomb too. Population Bomb. Scary. It is scary. She's gonna follow me again. I think it's gonna be like a sword stance play or something like that. And we'll see what he wants to do from there. He could go for like an icicle. He could go for like the icicle crash kind of thing. Or not icicle crash, icicle spear. I'm just gonna go into Pyro at this point. I feel like Pyro's gotta be the play. He's gonna follow me next turn, so I'd rather go into like a double hitting move and save my Don Dozo with the uh, choice, uh, choice ban for later. All right, so we bring out the tiger. Not the tiger, the lion. The lion. And there's the sword stand. So it's only plus one. That's something crazy. I could power split this turn, but I feel like a follow me has to come out here. Makes the most sense, right? So I'm just going to air slash into you, and I'm just going to heat wave across the board. He could, he could terror here as well. He could terror, but we do have to speed, which is good. Just not terror. He's just going to protect the mouse hold. Probably should just double down into the Vax Caliber, right? Would be my best bet. But I could have seen the Vax Caliber protecting. We'll see. Let's see what he wants to do here. He dodges the heat wave. Get out of my face with that. Get out my face with that. Dodging the heat wave. Even though I love Baxcalibur. You going for an EQ? Possibly, right? Glaive Rush. See you later, Pyro. Yeah, no shot you're slapping that. No Glaive Rush. No Glaive Rush. But I believe the next damage it takes is double. Like any double hitting moves. I do have Rock Slide. I do have Rock Slide. I do indeed have Rock Sloyd. I'm gonna go into him. I'm bringing out the fishy. I'm bringing him out here. We'll do more damage. Bug Buzz or... This has a chance to flinch. I'm just gonna go into a Bug Buzz. A little bit of Bug Buzz. Go for the Rock Slide. There's Follow Me. That's why I needed a double hitting move. I wish that Heat Wave would've landed because I feel like this Rock Slide could've KO'd. A Bug Buzz is gonna fly. Do a decent amount of damage. No Berry. No berries so far. Glaive Rush is going to fly here. This thing's ripping. This thing is ripping. He has got to go. He's got to go. And I'm surprised he's outspeeding my fish. Rock Slide flying here. Getting off some big damage. I think probably would have been done if her Heat Wave landed. That's ugly. That That is really ugly. That is really ugly. We're going to go in the Miascar out of here. Uh, we have speed up against it. I'm thinking it's just protecting. He's got to go for a Glaive Rush into that, right? Oh, now we're choosing the Rock Slide for the rest of the match, which kind of hurts his soul. I'm going to protect here. I'm going to go for another Rock Slide. And I'm just looking to get rid of the Mouse Hold. Because once I get rid of the Mouse Hold, my Miyazaki Rada can outspeed. We can take out Backscalper, no problem. And we kind of try to make something happen from there. But he's going to Terra. Terrasalize is coming out here. 
And what typing are you going into? Straight water. This sucks. This sucks. We're getting steamrolled by this Pokemon right here. All because of my missed Heat Weave. It really hurts. It really hurts. So we protect my Miascarada. Hopefully he's going after it. Oh, he protects the Mousehold as well. So we're not getting rid of the Mousehold just yet. And Ice Shard's going to fly. Oh, this is, this is bad. This is bad. This is terrible. This is terrible. <laughs> Rockside coming out here. I feel we're missing this on the backs caliber. We don't, but it's not going to do too much. The Tailwind is gone. Uh, Hef Sash. Rather just go for a flower chicken into this thing, but obviously to follow me is going to fly. No doubt in my mind to follow me comes out here. That's why I want to get rid of the mouse hold last turn. He does not follow me. I'll take that all day. His rear sash here. Flower chicken should be able to pick up the KO. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance that we win this battle. We get rid of you, no problem. And can we land this rock side, please and thank you? Actually, he might go before me and pop bomb me. Let's that play. What's his play? I'm gonna go for a taunt. I'm oblivious. You can't taunt me, even though the taunt would have done nothing. I'm just choice bandit. And we're just ripping with rock slides. <laughs> I wish I could choice to like wave crash here. But I still have Terra. I don't think I terras. Did I terras? I still have Terra. I still have Terra, so I might. I want to do it, right? Who did I lead? The Pyro. I didn't terras him. I still have Terra. And this sucks. This honestly sucks. I mean, I'm going to U-turn out. Or I'm at least going to try to send a U-turn into this thing. But, like, I do nothing Terrasalizing in the water. It does nothing for me. It's just a waste of a Terrasalize. Can you knock off my, my choice ban? Can you knock it off? That would be huge. Right? Terrasalizing in the grass isn't going to do anything. There's no point of using it. He's going to fire trick me. That might KO me. No, we survive. Just solid. And we're U turning. Can we KO here? Bring it down the red. Though Donzo should be able to outspeed. Rockslide, I need you landing. We have a semi chance here if you land this. <laughs> no. No, who dodged that? Okay, Amoongus dodged it. I wish I would have hit him because then I would have got a flinch chance. But he's definitely going after me, Yaskarai, with a clear smog or something. Yeah. That hurts. That hurts. Missing our double hitting moves all day. But yeah, this one's over. We stand no chance, right? It's gonna put me to sleep. It's gonna get real ugly. I'm not gonna like this game. And if I didn't have my choice ban, we would have been thriving here. We would have been thriving. Not bad damage though. Can we get some flinches? It's all that coming from 60,000 miles away. Um hopefully this thing's not rocking Giga Dream, but it probably is. So we're just gonna constantly rock slide out. He's gonna giga drain me. Probably do half of that. I don't think we got this one. Any quick naps? Any quick naps? There's one turn. I feel like I feel like we're due for a three turn sleep. It's gonna get real ugly. So he's rocking palm puff. How much damage is he doing? We need to survive one more palm puff. We need to wake up here. Nope. There's two turns. I'm telling you, I'm getting three turns sleep. Palm puff flying again. Should be able to eat this one up. I think the only way we win is if we get a flinch here. We need like back-to-back -back flinches. Or like a crit. We wake up. Beautiful. Rockside coming in hot. Give me crit slash flinch. Or flinch here. Flinch here. Flinch. Oh! That would have been awesome. Wow. If we got the flinch there, we would have won. That would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. But yo, GG's to this guy. Battle came down to the wire. We went 2-1 for today's video. Not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen, I did not expect this team to be this strong. This team was actually amazing. It is really strong on the rank ladder, and people don't expect a lot of these Pokemon to come out here and do what they did. You got the Pyroar doing absolute work with the Choice Specs, Miascarada and Dantozo. You guys know the deal with that already doing work. And then you got the Masquerade, Skunk Tank, and Tropius. Three off-meta Pokemon that can really put your opponent in a bad position. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.